to any sort of uh, mistake you might have in the reading. Think about like the way I'm injecting it, if the dye uh, changes radial locations or uh, whatever you think uh, might affect your results. What do, you, what do we have to get from this? It's like a weird... It's not perfect, right? No. Well, I mean, that's kind of expected because uh, like, you sort of feel the vibrations in our pipes, right? And uh, the density of the dye is different from that of the water, so it might sink a little, right? So you can kind of notice that... Uh, it's more like... It does that, because again, like, uh, these pipes aren't perfect, so it may not, like, we may not get a perfectly straight line. So, um... Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, just do your best guess, right? I mean, like, uh, okay, so the description of laminar flow is that if you have any sort of disturbances in your flow, those disturbances will sort of die out very quickly. Whereas the turbulent flow, if you have a disturbance, those uh, disturbances will amplify and they, they'll get much worse and then they'll propagate throughout the whole pipe. So, I don't know, like, uh, it may not be as perfect down here, but you might also want to, like, uh, uh, look uh, downstream and see if uh, the flow stabilizes or if it gets worse or what happens. I can't see it. Can I see what's coming? Can I stabilize it? Can I stabilize it, right? Okay. So, what did you say? If it's laminar? Laminar? Yeah, something like that. I'm not going to tell you the answer, but uh, yeah, something like that. Right before that, you said that if it's going to have like an amplified vibration, right? Yep. Uh, does someone else want to give this a try? Injecting the dye? I don't want to get up here and uh, just uh, try putting Zion.